28 BYJ48 is the cheapest stepper motor you can buy right now. You can get one for like one dollar. It's not super powerful, but it is small and precise. Thanks to dedicated driver, it is also easy to use. I use it in my Arduino based DAT matrix printer, and it works great. It could be faster, but as for one dollar, it is much better than I expected. In this project I use transistors to control it, but in this tutorial to keep it simple we'll use a dedicated driver. To make it we will use 28 BYJ48 stepper motor with an ULN 2003 driver, Arduino Uno and breadboard cables with female to male connectors. Before I will show you how to connect that, let's see how to control it and a little bit of theory behind this motor. There are two coils inside it that are connected in the middle, this connection will be connected to 5V. So by connecting one of the other motor's connectors to GND, current will flow through that part of coil, so that we can rotate a shaft by one step. To control this motor we need to connect four cables from Arduino to driver and then set proper signals in proper order to it. This table explains how to set high signal to move stepper each step. We have to set in one to high and the rest of pins to low. Then in step two we can do the same but instead of in one we will set in two to high and the rest of them to low. We have to shift that high signal by one each step. After completing the cycle in step 4 we can go back to step 1 and do the same. That's how we can control a motor by full stepping, there is also a way to do micro stepping for this motor but because it has 2048 steps per revolution there is no need for that. Theoretically it should have slightly bigger torque while running it with micro stepping but it is still not very impressive so let's keep it simple. As I said, this motor has 2048 steps per revolution, compared to NEMA 17 motors that are widely used in 3D printers and have 200 steps per revolution, it's quite impressive. Minimum delay between steps for this motor is 2 milliseconds, this is a minimum time between each step to get it working, if you will go lower it just wouldn't work. So max speed of this motor is 500 steps per second. To make one full rotation we need over 4 seconds. Yeah, that's a lot. Now we know everything about this motor, let's see how to connect it to Arduino. Let's start by connecting VCC and GND to Arduino. We can power this motor with 5 volts up to 12 volts, but it is overheating a lot when powered with 12 volts. Connect 4 cables between drivers in 1, 2, 3 and 4 pins and Arduino 9, 10, 11 and 12 pins. At the end connect motor to driver with connector. Now let's jump to code. At the beginning we define pin numbers that our motor is connected to. Then we set them as an output so that we can use them later. We also have one step void function with dir parameter that declares rotation direction. We also have a switch that realizes the function that I showed in a table. At the end we increment step number to know where to set high signal next. In the loop we call our function and delay 2 milliseconds because that's the minimum delay between steps. And here is how our motor works. Here I added two for loops that call one step function 1000 times so our model will do 1000 steps and then do the same number of steps but in different direction. And shaft of the motor is rotating for almost half of full rotation and then goes back the same number of steps in different direction. And that's all for this quick tutorial about how to use cheap stepper motor with Arduino. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to don't miss my new tutorials and projects. Happy making!